Well, a seismic moment for the United Kingdom and the European Union. Joining us to discuss events is Gunter Utteger, the Digital Economy and Society Commissioner on the European Commission. Uh, Commissioner, it's perhaps not an exaggeration to describe this as the single most important event in the history of the European Union since its founding. What's your reaction? What I see is there can be three very dangerous developments. First one, uh, that populistic parties in other member states, Netherlands, France, Austria, Italy, uh, will copy what was happening by a referendum in UK. I'm sure that uh, Marine Le Pen will do the same um, uh, on the way to the next presidential election in May uh, 2017. I'm sure that uh, Wilders will do the same in Netherlands. And so we have to stabilize our national democracies. And the second point is uh, up to the markets. Um, investors, our industries, uh, all market players, but the need is clarity. So we have to negotiate between UK and EU as soon as possible, as intensive as possible, for to come to a new level of clarity, um, UK out, EU27 on the other side, because uh, as long as we are negotiating, nobody will invest. And third point is an internal UK point. Scotland will leave UK, possibly. And so what uh, uh, Prime Minister Cameron and his counterpart uh, Johnson did is damaging uh, the whole uh, United Kingdom for the next two to five years. Well, we'll come back to that point in a moment, but uh, you raised the prospect of other referendums in other countries, in other Eurosceptic countries. As a, as, a, as a member of what they see as the Brussels elite, uh, what would your message to people be in Denmark and in Netherlands, uh, which are possibly going to agitate for a referendum? The question is, which ambition do we have as Europeans? If we want uh, to be a part of global developments, take climate change policies, take uh, freedom, uh, take standards for our industrial products in the digital sector, in the digital future. If we want to be a part of this uh, decision-making bodies, we need a European Union. Uh, no member state, uh, not Denmark, not Malta, but not France and not Germany, are big and strong enough for to be a player in the global dimension between the US and China. Well, you haven't mentioned uh, immigration, which is, the, which is fueling these uh, exit tendencies, if I can put it like that. Can, can you reassure people that something will be done to address this, this immigration issue, which, which is causing such alarm in countries like this? Looking to Syria or looking to Iraq or to Afghanistan, it was not the European Union who was in lead. It was a regional development and some member states have been involved, not the European Union. Now we have a common um, challenge and we need a coherent and common neighborhood policy. We have to invest more via our European budget for to give people in these regions uh, a perspective. Uh, so I think just these neighborhood problems from uh, Nigeria to uh, Libya, from Palestine to Eritrea to Afghanistan is a European challenge. And uh, EU27 is able to give some help. Uh, 27 different voices will have no level of authority. But uh, the perception in countries which are Eurosceptic and which might go on to have referendum is that it's a European problem. In the UK, they uh, had uh, waves of, of people from Eastern Europe coming in. Now, could the Commission, could the European Union leaders have done more to help David Cameron convince his own electorate when they came up with that deal back in February? Could they have done more to aid his efforts to keep Britain in the United Kingdom, in, in the European Union? Um, when he left uh, Brussels in February, there was a clear announcement from him. Please, uh, I will uh, be um, in lead campaigning in UK. Please, I don't need any support from Brussels. It was his uh, clear order that the Commission should be out of the game. So it's his fault? I think so, yes.
What he did is not uh, acceptable. You, you mentioned the, the tensions within the, Euro, the United Kingdom. Can you see any situation in which regions like Scotland and Northern Ireland, who are quite clearly in favour of remaining, can some arrangement be made to accommodate their relationship with the European Union if they want to continue on? Um, UK is leaving our EU. Um, it's up to the UK um, what is happening in Scotland or in other um, uh, regions. Um, if there is a second referendum and Scotland is leaving UK, what could be uh, possible? Then afterwards, Scotland would be an independent uh, European country with all values and if they are fulfilling our uh, treaty conditions, then it's possible that they are coming back as an independent uh, country, as a new member in our EU27 and afterwards as a, a, a 28th uh, member of our union. So it's only on the basis of independence from the UK that you can talk to Scotland and Northern Ireland? Indeed. Uh, the, the economy is going to be a massive issue for, for Europe and for the UK. Now, what do you see as the, the, the impact uh, for Europe and for the UK on this decision, from this decision? Um, one of our um, main values we have is the single market. A single market with 500 million citizens, um, 28 member states and Switzerland, Norway, Ukraine and other West Balkan states more or less associated. And for investors, this is important. Take South Korean investors, Japanese investors producing cars in uh, UK and transporting these cars produced in UK to France, Netherlands, Germany. So you don't accept the idea from Brexiters that this will liberate the economy, the, the, the Britain, Britain to have its own trade deals uh, elsewhere in the world. It has to start again. You think that Britain will not be able to do uh, the things that the Brexiters were, the, the trade deals that the Brexiters were talking about? What they are saying is not true. If UK is leaving our EU, they are out. Out is out. They are beyond our single market. And they have to negotiate how to come to new rules. This needs years. Uh, and it's a, a huge damage for uh, the export-oriented industries located in the UK. Commissioner, thank you very much for talking to us. Well, there's plenty to follow throughout the day. We'll have more reaction and more developments. Stay with us on Euronews.